Okay, straight into the movies. Walojo chronicles life in prison in the true life story inspired movie Inside Life. Details in this next feature. I just small issue. I think see my boss get that deal and stop for road. Inside Life, a film inspired by Larry Loro Nishala's 2016 memoir, Prison Notes, is set to make its cinematic debut nationwide, produced by Chuks Enete. It brings to life the story of the young man who, weeks before his wedding, embarks on a short trip to represent his company at a court hearing, but gets unjustly remanded in prison following the suggestion of a grief plaintiff's lawyer. I refuse to be addressed by such an appellation. In view of this disrespectful act, my lord, I pray that this honorable court remand the representative of the defendant in prison custody. Rise and shine. A lot came to mind, a lot came to mind that I cannot even begin to go into because the, the entire um, um, scenario surrounding what happened is, is really, really mind-boggling and that it's actually possible that it can happen is, is frightening because it can happen to anybody and not just the character, um, other characters you know other inmates right not talking about it they are not talking about the fact that these things happen and i i'm grateful that this is from a true experience not that i'm happy it happened to someone but that this is a real account and people will not doubt it and be like okay this is just some writer's imagination this is something that actually happened and because of that we are hoping it's going to spark like a conversation where people get to you know like um, begin to talk about it whatever you have to do you they mad ah. oh my god this room man ah. see this useless stupid criminal mommy mommy they follow talk like that go with it with the microwave leave for you so i it was an experience i had i was working for an organization that had a case with an agency of the federal government and you know the common lawyer didn't show up in court that day and that's that so there was nobody pushing my case before the judge. And then the opposing lawyer wanted a situation whereby, you know, they would get my company, the company I was working for, to take the court more serious. So that request is what, you know, brought about the action of, oh, let's keep this guy in, let's remain in prison custody until the next agenda. So I was there for 11 days and, yeah. Courts rise. You have been dragging this case now for more than two years with them. I don't care! Am I not the one that tagged the road from this junction? Don't you know how much I buy for this air? The movie producer believes the film uncovers the flawed concept of awaiting trial in the Nigerian judicial system, which stems from corruption and a lack of proper documentation and record keeping. He hopes the film will serve as a medium to educate the masses and kickstart processes to reform the correctional facilities in the country. When he gets into prison, he begins to hear other people's stories, right? And so, you don't even need to get to court. In fact, for many people, the inability to get to court is their issue, right? And so you see somebody who is there as awaiting trial, spending more time than he would have spent even if he had been convicted and sentenced. What you get is what I saw, let's put it that way. So, and then I'd like to say there are a lot of lessons to learn. For the government, there are a lot of calls to make. The judicial system needs to be cleaned up. The, the, the correctional services too, there needs to be a lot of work done there. There are a lot of people wasting their way just, you know, because there's nobody doing anything about that. The people have not gone to court in four years, five years, they're waiting trial and they don't know when they will go to court. And it's like that. I'm talking about one prison, one cell in a prison that are three cells and there are so many prisons around Nigeria so you can do the maths and see what that comes to. People are wasting their way. People are just... So things need to change. Apart from the lessons we learn about maximizing every free time you have when you're outside because there are people looking for free time and they can't get it. They have no liberty. <laughs> when we have liberty, we abuse it. Yeah, so some people don't have. They wish they had, but they can't do anything about it. Courts rise. You have been dragging this case now for more than two years with them. I don't care. Am I not the one that tagged the road from this junction? Don't you know how much I buy for this air? Do whatever you have to do. 